In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. We are still in Easter, and today it is Wednesday in the octave of Easter. These are the eight days that we celebrate the solemnity of the resurrection. And today, I want to talk about the experience, the Easter experience. On Easter Sunday morning, we said, or rather we were led, to declare that I will not die, but I will live to tell of the goodness of the Lord. Catechetically, theologically, and biblically, there is one thing that we discover after Easter. I'm saying in parentheses because it should be part of our life experience. It is not something that we discover at some point, but I'm doing this for purposes of this video and for purposes of these ins instructions. It is actually what we are supposed to always know. And one of them is that we are the children of God and co-heirs with Jesus Christ. If you remember on Holy Thursday, he told Peter, I'll wash you. And Peter said, you cannot wash my feet. And Jesus told him, if I cannot, then you can't be heir with me. It is not possible that you can be on my side, co-heir, and I cannot wash your feet. As co-heirs with Jesus Christ, we are more than what we talk about followers, children of God, beloved as his son. And every day he says to each one of us, behold my daughter with whom I'm well pleased. Behold my son with whom I'm well pleased. After that, then we know that our promise for a heavenly home is sure. Completely so. We have a home with him in heaven. Resurrection is true. And therefore, all the promises are true. And one of them is that he is going to prepare a home for all of us. So that is assured. It is known in us that it will happen. As I've talked about something about um, that we are heirs of God and joint heirs with Jesus. We are heirs of God and joint heirs with Jesus. That is why we allowed ourselves to be washed of our feet. Because that is another statement that maybe we may have missed on Holy Thursday. We talked about service. We talked about humility. All those are um, themes that we can discuss on Holy Thursday, uh, especially during the washing of feet. But there is that statement that sometimes you can always miss. Joint heirs with Jesus Christ. If I can't wash you. So we know one thing for a fact. That we are heirs of God. And joint heirs with Jesus Christ. And then we know that men and women of resurrection. Their desires and their direction must always change to follow that of Jesus Christ. We cannot be joint heirs with Jesus Christ. And our life is headed south and Jesus is pointing us towards north. And we may always ask, with whom am I in my journey? On this journey, with whom am I? Am I? Who is my company? Or who, is, who is in my company? Who is my companion in this journey? We may be doing very well as Christians from our own perspective, but it could be that we are completely lost. As we say in Latin, bene curit sed extraviam. Our run may be very good, but wrong direction because it is Jesus who gives us the direction because he gives us, he points to us his word that guides us. 
And finally, we are told that we cannot be controlled by death or anything death-like. Death is defeated. When death is defeated, anything that is death-like is defeated. And therefore, those of us who may have been giving up, we cannot give up. Good people, we cannot give up. We must be on this journey because we know we don't give ourselves the strength. The strength is given by him who loves us just as we are. Thank you. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Do have a productive Wednesday in the octave of Easter.